show you how Geometry and Algebra 2 Take out your notebook, there's a lot to do Mr. Kennedy here, your favorite math teacher. Who's ready to focus on locus? That's what I thought. You do the math. Hi, here's a Mr. Kennedy tip for you all. If you really know your toolbox well, then you'll do better on the test. You gotta know the five fundamental loci. Here they are. Here are the first three fundamental loci. Make sure you know these really well. Here are the last two. Make sure you know these, too. Study, study, study. Mr. Kennedy, when would we use this in real life? Never! Just kidding. On the regents. The last thing you need to know for the test are these equations for circles. Make sure you know them. Now that we have reviewed the five fundamental loci, we're ready to do a problem. I'm going to start with number 10 from your locus packet. Let's read the question. Mathematics is everywhere. All right, so the problem says that a tree and a statue are 10 feet apart from each other. So I drew that with two dots representing the tree and the statue and a line segment representing the 10 feet between them, okay? It says the treasure is buried seven feet away from the base of the tree. So I need to represent that. Well, if I draw the locus of points seven feet from the tree, that's gonna be a circle with a radius of seven. So I'm gonna draw my best circle, okay? And I'm just gonna show this has a radius of seven feet. The problem also says the treasure is somewhere five feet away from the statue. So I need to represent the locus of points five feet away from the statue. Now is that going to overlap this circle? Yeah, it is, because this one comes out seven feet. This one goes five feet from the statue, so they're going to overlap a little bit. So here's a circle with a radius of five. The question is asking, how many possible points are there that this treasure could be buried? Well, these two points of intersection are both five feet from the statue and seven feet from the trait because they're on those low side. So I'm gonna mark clearly with an X those two points, and this diagram is my answer. Pretty easy, huh? We found the buried treasure! Mr. Kennedy, what are you doing with your buried treasure? I'm gonna buy some math. Now I'm gonna do problem number 11 from the locust packet. Why don't you go ahead and read the problem? Okay, so I've set up a diagram here with the two parallel lines L and M, and it says point A is on line L. I've also represented that they are 12 units apart. Now the question is asking, how many points are equidistant from line L and M? So that would be the locus of points equidistant from L and M. So that's that dotted line. It's midway between and it's parallel to the two given lines. And it happens to be six feet from the top and six feet from the bottom. The top being line L and the bottom being line M in my diagram. All right, next it says it also wants it to be eight units away from point A. So the locus of points eight units from point A is a circle with a radius of eight. So there's the locus of points eight units from point A. Do they overlap? Yes, because if this radius is eight, it's gonna dip below the six units here. So how many points do they cross? Two, there they are marked with an X. X marks the spot. Don't you just love math? I'd also like to do number 12. Go ahead and read that problem.
Hocus Pocus solve the locus. Here's my diagram that represents the problem given in number 12. It says Maria has a backyard with two trees, T1 and T2. I am T2, the denominator. I'll be back. It says the two trees are 40 feet apart, and she wants to place lampposts somewhere in her backyard so that each lamppost is 30 feet away from each tree. So where are the possible positions for these lampposts? Well, take tree one, draw the locus of points 30 feet from that point. So that's going to be a circle with a radius of 30. It might be too big for me to draw on the board. So something like that, 30 feet away. Do the same thing with T2. So it's another circle overlapping, almost like a Venn diagram. I like it when that happens. So it's two overlapping circles. Where are the possible points where they intersect? Again, X marks the spot, and it's time for some new chalk. Hi, I'm Mr. Kennedy. I just wanted to wish everybody a safe and happy holiday. Give the gift of math this season. Or better yet, give your math teacher a gift this season. I like dark chocolate, Starbucks gift cards, and funny teacher ties. Well, mathematicians, did your Christmas wish come true? You learned how to do locusts. I hope you had fun. Until next time, I'm Mr. Kennedy. May the math be with you.